Hello there. What is the product about to you? You prefer Grin Blenian? That's just fine. We are trained to take care of all species. Now, you're here for your evaluation for car insurance. Hmm. But you're not from Port Widow. Okay. So while here at Port Widow, we call them cars. It's a little bit of a more upscale way to describe your land ship. Uh, it just has that old school feel, you know. Mm -hmm. But you need a physical exam here on Port Widow in order to be fit to drive a car. You need car insurance first. And in order to get car insurance, you first have to get your physical exam. Mm -hmm. So we'll give you your full physical exam. Have you filled out the neutrality paperwork? Mm -hmm. Yes, the paperwork that states you will make sure to use language that is not offensive. Mm -hmm. It's just standard here on Budwara. It's mostly an agreement against road rage. Hmm. Well, so we don't have roads per se outside of the city because everything is ocean. Uh, but there are some fairly strict traffic controls inside the city bubbles. Most of the streets, as I'm sure you've seen, are covered and populated by the large undersea creatures whose backs we use almost like bus transport. Mm -hmm. Did you see that? Oh, you're wondering how we do it. Well, so they are trained from the time they're very small to stay along the passages. So the bubble of a city is essentially an air bubble. It's an air bubble basically kept under the ocean. But the bottom and of course the pressure keeps the water out. The bottom has streets, but then it has a slit. Well, not streets, because there's not really much place to walk, but some place for people to walk. Uh, and then there's a middle channel for people to swim, or for buses to go through. Buses being the large undersea creatures. Very similar to plesiosaurs and other very large creatures. Mm. That's uh, just a word I learned from studying about the human world. Us car insurance examiners are required to be very well versed, so we can make your experience as pleasant as possible. Culturally, psychologically, and of course physically. Mm -hmm. Well, and I'm sure the next agent will help you find the exact car insurance package that's perfect for you to make sure that nothing bad ever happens to you. Here on Budwara, safety is the most important thing to us. Perhaps Retrack City in Luna Guatala is all about style and show, dancing, loud music. We here are much more restrained, but not cold like the Alpinoans just a very, we're very practical. Well, in an impractical way. <laughs> we do have a lot of rules. We enjoy our rules. The Alpinoans tend to like to keep to themselves. But we are social and communal and believe that the planet has a responsibility to take care of each individual. Mm -hmm. So you are required to have a thorough car insurance package, a thorough physical exam, and your car insurance package must include enough money to pay for everyone's expenses. Mm -hmm. There's pluses and minuses to how we do things, but of course, I'm required to say it's all perfect. There are things we enjoy. Mm -hmm. Of course. And where do you think you'll be heading? Oh, that's confidential. Well, 
There are a number of Frelsi and Rowan bases, both. Um, this is what is called a um, uncontested zone protected by the Spaces Treaty here on Budwara. So there is not allowed to be armed conflict from either of those parties. But they do have bases from which they launch media campaigns and other forms of I'm not sure how you would say it, but other forms of influence, we could, we shall say. Mm -hmm. Well, let's get to the physical exam. So, we'll start from top to bottom. We will, we will. If you would do me the kind favor of uh, just putting this on your finger, any finger will do, preferably a ring finger though. Perfect. Excellent. And <laughs> All right, that does seem appropriate for your species. We just sanitize in our sanitation station over here. There we go. A lot of our clients prefer the personal touch to something like that. I'm going to touch your head just like this. Mm -hmm. So actually, all of my hair and exterior has been populated with certain controlled bacteria and otherwise sterilized. Mm -hmm. All of us attendants, because we see so many different species from different planets, which may have different immunities, are required to have a particular biome of bacterial fauna and flora and viruses on our skin, which has been deemed to be the least harmful to other people. Mm -hmm. Let me just touch your head real quick. It's just like this. Just like that. See? I will demonstrate every technique before I do it or as I do so that you can feel what's happening. And so that you can feel safe and understand I'm not going to do anything to you that I wouldn't do. So. Here's the dealio. You don't seem to have any trauma. Um, your scalp seems to be appropriately motile, while your bones, of course, have no sign of fracture or damage. But of course, we would know that coming in. Mm -hmm. No immediate defects or, you know, tumors or anything like that. Let's take a look in your eyes, shall we? No erythema, no edema, no, um, you know, closure of the airway. I'm looking to make sure you have an excellent mama body as well. Mm hmm. Oh, well, you see, this is not the bag that I need. This is the bag that I need. <laughs> I just want to make sure we have the appropriate covering going into your ear. Just right over here. Perfect. Going right over here to your ear. Excellent. Again, no erythema, exodase, no edema. Your genetic memory looks clean. No signs of molding. Same thing on the other side. There doesn't appear to be any edema. Mm -hmm. 
perfect. I would like just a brief look, and we'll discard this, I'll take a new one. Just a brief look in your nostrils, all right? We don't always do one of our complete exam. I want to know if you're... They have a funny name, the little bumps up in your nose. There are these interesting ridges, and if they're swollen, you might have allergic rhinitis. Now, allergic rhinitis may disqualify you from driving a vehicle because we can't take the risk that you might sneeze and bump into somebody else. So you would be required to be on a strong allergy medicine before any such behavior. Now, let's take a good look in your eyes. Yes, we are much stricter about sneezes here. Well, of the galaxy. Here, what I want to see. I'm looking for your optic nerve. I am looking to see the fossa, macula, or visible. I am following a couple of blood vessels to make sure I don't see cotton wool spots. Um, or little splotches that would be consistent with hypertension. And of course, making sure that you don't seem to have signs of cataracts, your lens should be um, completely penetrable. <laughs> Same thing over here. Make sure your optic nerve is beautiful, no bulging. Don't see any potential for diabetes. And no sign of cataracts. Obviously, vision is going to be very, very important. Now, did you take your vision test? Excellent. May I see the result? You were told to bring them with you. Mm. I see. Can you follow my finger? I'm going to get these back to you. I'm going to hold my hands behind your head, right here, and I'm going to wiggle them. And you're going to tell me on each side when you see it. Right. Just tell me when you see my finger. Alright. You do have slightly decreased peripheral vision. That also needs to go in my report. I'm recording. Continuing onward and working our way down, let's listen to cardiovascular and respiratory systems. I am first going to listen to your neck, listen to your carotid artery. Oh, let's switch over to the bell. Listen to your carotid artery. Perfect. Excellent. And your drink is sounds good. So all of these tools are recording all of what we're finding directly into your file. So, your exact carotid brewing. You don't have any brewing, but if you did, that exact phenomenon is being recorded, especially for you. Let me listen to your heart. Any family history of heart problems? Any sudden vehicle accidents while riding an air rider or a needle ship or anything else like that? Any sudden single car um, accidents? Like just one person? Hmm. Alright, good to know. Alright, I want to come around behind and listen. Thank you. 
I'm just gonna do a little bit of percussion on your lungs, on your back, essentially. I just want to let it into your face. No, that appears to be fine. Any old lung injuries? I do see that you don't have a fever. Any tenderness if I kind of do this right where your kidney is, back here? Same thing over here. And then here in the front, just under your ribs, take a deep breath. Perfect. Excellent. You don't rise and fall. All right. So, can you do me a couple more favors? Can you close your eyes for a moment and tell me if this feels the same? Close your eyes. There. There. And there. Keep your eyes closed. Can you tell me where I'm poking? Excellent. And point to where I'm poking. Excellent. Can you hear this? Mm hmm And from far away? Perfect. Another side from far away. Excellent. Right now I'm checking out your cranial nerves as part of the whole exam. Mm -hmm. Well, we already have your optic nerve result, nerves 3, 4, 5, 6, um, 7, and 8. Can you go ahead and smile? And pull out your cheeks. Mm -hmm. And raise your eyebrows. Excellent. And then, um, can you go ahead, you already opened your mouth, can you do it again and say ah this time? And then, um, can you go ahead and wave your tongue back and forth like this? Perfect. And then shrug your shoulders. Great. And squeeze my fingers. Excellent. Push up. Push out. Push in. Push down. Wonderful. Alright. Now for this shoulder. Any pain with that movement? Okay. And then, can you do like this? Mm -hmm. Both sides. Mm -hmm. Do like this. Mm -hmm. Do like this. Excellent. And then raise your hands up to your side. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna move this arm over here again. Mm -hmm. And then you're going to hold your hand out like this and push up on my fingers. Go ahead. Alright, and again. Beautiful. Very, very good. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So next I'm going to be listening to your abdomen. And I already saw you walk coming in here, so that was good. No signs of attack. I'm just going to listen to your abdomen. I'm going to tap lightly on your abdomen again. I'm looking for things like masses, like this, things like that. Okay, I'm just going to kind of breath here. Take a deep breath in. Perfect. And then I'm going to push in here. I'll take my hand down. Great, no reaction. And I'm going to press here. I know you're a little ticklish on this side. Excellent. Can you lift your knee up this way for me? And rotate it. There we go. And then we'll pull it back that way. Perfect. Then if I tap your feet, good, nothing happens to your belly. Excellent. Can you go ahead and lift your knee for me? And the other knee? And then kick your foot out. Perfect. And out. Excellent. Wiggle your toes for me. <laughs> lift up your big toe. Excellent. Very, very good. Close your eyes for a moment. Mm -hmm. Do you feel this? 
Can you point to where it is? Eyes closed. Excellent. Off your hair, point to where I'm touching. Excellent. And again, point to where I'm touching. And again, point to where I'm touching. Very well done. Very well done. Mm hmm. Absolutely. No. So at this center, we don't require cavity exams. There are centers that require that. Mm -hmm. Because you will only be applying for a basic car insurance and not, for example, to be the driver of a bus or something else like that that is particularly where other people's lives depend on you, we won't need to do a cavity wellness exam. What's the purpose of a cavity wellness exam? Well, something like hemorrhoids or a fissure down there could um, make it difficult for the driver to pay attention to what he's doing or she. Mm-hmm. Exactly. So, we are very, very cautious. Can you do this for me? Mm-hmm. And now this. Perfect. And this. I'm testing your cerebellum. And then flap your feet. Great. Now take your foot, put it on your knee, and run it down your knee to your shin. Like this. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Other one. Very good. Again, just checking your cerebellum to make sure that everything is well upstairs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, you're not wrong. I don't know if you're right either, but either way is good. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, let's see. So we've done a significant portion of your neuro exam, a portion of your musculoskeletal exam. Mm -hmm. Let me take a couple notes and then let's do a little more for some of your lower joints. I'm just going to look here and see that we do And then over here on the shoulder. Mm -hmm. Doesn't seem to be tender. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. There we go. Just a couple notes. Check your pulses again bilaterally. for impingement in your acromial clavicular joint. Mm -hmm. Give me just a moment. That's just to put some strain on the anterior joint to see if you have apprehension that might indicate you might be likely to dislocate. Great. Alrighty. Mm-hmm. 
You've missed your exam. That's odd. The last time you were here was a very long time ago. You don't look quite that old. That's quite odd. Hmm. Can you go ahead and ex um, stretch out your knee for me? Pain here? No. Here. Excellent. Okay. How about if I press like this? If I angle your knee like that? Alright, how about if we sit it up here and pull this way? Alright, same thing. Sit up here, pull this way. Okay. Absolutely. And I'm just gonna palpate a little. I'm gonna lift your knee up and drop it suddenly. Drop it suddenly. Perfect. Excellent. Alright. I'm going to put that you're clear since you have the rest of your paperwork complete. I'll feed this into the computer. The compu will take it all from here. Just perfect. Thank you for seeing us today for your car insurance medical exam. We look forward to seeing you on the road. Good evening.